pathogenesis of HFMD. After initial viral implantation in the buccal and ileal mucosa, it spreads to the lymph nodes, followed by viremia and invasion of the skin and mucous membranes. The characteristic mucosa and skin lesion formation is most likely due to cellular apoptosis with lymphocytic infiltration of the epidermis followed by edema of the skin or mucosa causing vesicle. Studies show that the systemic immune system including cellular immune response and neutralizing antibodies, plays a critical role in controlling the outcome of enterovirus 71 infection in humans. Systemic inflammatory response involves pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cells or cytokines. Examples of pro-inflammatory cytokines involves are tumor necrosis factor, macrophage inflammatory proteins, and interleukins 1 and 6 whereby the anti-inflammatory cells involved are interleukin 10 and 13. Histone levels were significantly higher in severe than milder presentation of HFMD. It has been noted also myeloperoxidase and lactose dehydrogenase were also found to be significantly increased in HFMD. The mechanism responsible for EV71-induced viral encephalitis pathogenesis have not been fully understood. Studies on EV71 showed that many factors including receptor binding, viral factors, innate immune evasion, inflammatory cells and host factors are involved. Features in viral encephalitis include neuronophagia, varibuscular coughing, focal edema, neutrophil and macrophage infiltration. The inflammation distributes mainly to the hypothalamus, brainstem, spinal cord, and cerebral dentate nucleus along the motor nerve pathway, indicating that the virus spread into the CNS through the retrograde peripheral motor nerve. In autopsy cases resulting in pulmonary edema, the viral antigens were only detected in the brainstem and in the spinal cord, but not in the lung tissue, suggesting that EV71-induced pulmonary edema is neurogenic.